Okay, um, hey Harry, I actually just threw together a quick automation, um, a quick scenario in Make to show you exactly what I mean. And it works flawlessly. It, it works really well. So let me show you exactly how you can scrape, how you can find out all the pages of a website um, and then scrape the ones that are important for whatever you want to do. And then based on that, write like a ice, an icebreaker, for example, or write something personalized in the end. Um, yeah, so here is the scenario I made. First up, we make an HTTP request. Uh, this is basically to the sitemap. So you would, depending on what your workflow is, before this module, have several other modules through which you somehow pass the website of the, uh, of the prospect. So I've just used the static URL for now, but you know what I mean, right? Because I won't build out something uh, before that, that would just be a waste of time. So first up, you here, you input the URL or you use the variable URL. Um, and then behind that, you put slash sitemap.xml. This is the sitemap. Here you will be able to find all the um, sub pages basically of the website. Now the method is get and then pass response no and everything else can you can leave as it is. Next we use OpenAI uh, to ChatGPT to find out which of those pages, which of those um, yeah, sub pages or pages in general are important, which we should use. So how does that look like? How does the um, sitemap.xml look like? It looks like this. Um, you basically have nicely sorted each of the domains, right? Each of the links, URLs, whatever you want to call them. So this is a very nice format because it also shows all sites, not just the ones that are accessible through links on the, uh, on the homepage, for example. This shows you all all sites that are on this website. So you will be able to get a lot more information through that. Next, you put that into ChatGBT in a way like this. Um, create a chat completion, GBT40 mini I'll use for that because it only has to do prediction which sites are important. So you don't have to use 4.0, 4 mini is enough. Um, here I wrote in an array, uh, JSON format, okay, weird English. In a rate JSON format, deliver me all of the site links from the sitemap that could include important information about the company if I wanted to personalize outreach to them. Home and about us sites are the most important. Then I said, use this format, and you should also do that. Uh, that is basically site, uh, then the uh, array starts here, those square brackets, and then we have basically Side, comma, side, comma, side. So for each side, it will have a new, uh, a new entry in this array. Below that I have, here's the sitemap.xml. Sitemap and then I just linked to the data, um, to, the, to the data of the make a request module. Um, and down here, um, I have changed the text. So you would click on show advanced options, settings obviously down here, and then change the text to JSON object and then pass JSON response yes and you can turn off this uh, so you can remove the max completion tokens if there are a ton of sites uh, it might be the case that it only uh, checks the first if you if you leave something in here so I always always leave this empty that it can use the maximum available um, tokens it has and everything else is okay now you click on OK, you add an iterator next, and what you do in this iterator, uh, you activate map, and you set it to results site, to this one right here. Um, so the great thing with the pass response that we just activated is that now, instead of just having, uh, we also have that, in, but in just instead of just having the message content and in this format that we obviously gave it, but you also get up here result result, site, and then nicely sorted uh, a collection for each of the sites that it found out that might be valuable, right? So what we do next is we basically put this array of sites into the uh, iterator, which basically allows us to repeat the next actions for all the following modules. Uh, no, repeat 
uh, for each of the of the websites that we found, repeat the following modules for each website, right? So we found six websites, so it repeated it six times, right? And what does it do? First, it obviously makes a request to the site. So you just select the site from the iterator right here. Then method get, uh, and by the way, this URL is just a preview how this looks like. Um, so for each for each time it repeats that, so six times in this case, it uses the correct URL. Then you use method get, uh, body type raw, and content type HTML, pass response no. Next you add a text parser, um, uh, which is the HTML to text. So you just search for HTML to text. In here, in HTML, you just click on data. So this is the data from the, uh, from the site, this is the HTML basically. You click on OK. Now you add an array aggregator. As a source module, you take the iterator. And then down here, you just click on text, right? You just select the text, this one output. And now you basically are back. You now have everything in an array again, all of the results that you need. Uh, now you just have another um, ChatGPT OpenAI module. Uh, here I use GBT 4.0 because in this case, I want to use the results and write something based on that. So 4.0, the more powerful one is, is better here. I've added a system message. Uh, you create killer icebreakers for cold emails and then user create a one-line icebreaker for this company based on these website texts. Then you use, you search here for map. You use, you click on the map function and in map in the first field, you add the, the array you receive from the array aggregator. So this one up here, right? And in the second one, you just write text. Text is just the first one here, which includes all of the text we want, right? And this is basically it. Now it goes through, it puts all of those website texts into, into here. You can see if I open text, we have all of the text nicely in an array here again. And then it sends a request to ChatGPT with all of the website content and it basically lets it write something based on that. What you could also do, because obviously all of those websites uh, combined are really long text-wise, as you can see, I can scroll relatively wide, far. So what you could do, especially if you have uh, like those tokens, um, it might be a very large request. You could add another ChatGBT module right here between the text parser, uh, the HTML to text and array aggregator. Um, input the parse text and tell ChatGBT to summarize it. So summarize, summarize this, this text. And then in the array aggregator, you select the output from the summarized text uh, based on whatever you want to summarize it on. And then you have a lot less that goes into here. You only have the core information that you need. Uh, that is basically how that works. Uh, I really hope that helped. I will also attach the uh, blueprint in the description of this video and also in the forum, in the Make forum uh, under, your, under your post there. And yeah, if it helped, you feel free to give this answer, uh, to set this answer to a correct answer. I don't know how that's called. Like you can, you can take answers as that's the correct answer. Uh, feel free to do that. If not, let me know what's wrong and I will try my best to fix it. Have a great day uh, and yeah, goodbye.